Let's take a look at the new Elegant Themes drag and drop builder plugin and all the great features that it provides. Here we're looking at the standard page editor in WordPress. WordPress gives you a lot of great tools for managing your website, but when it comes to editing the content within your page, only a few small tools are provided, such as adding bold text, adding images and headers, etc. Which means when you start creating a bunch of pages, they all start looking the same, like this. Because when it comes time to adding more advanced elements to your page, the only way to do it is to go to the HTML tab and start coding them yourself. That's where our new plugin comes in. Once enabled, a new visual drag and drop builder system is added below your text editor, and you can use this to start adding advanced elements to your page without ever touching a line of code. So let's take a look at how it works. To add something new to your page, first click the Add Module button to reveal a list of available elements. Find something you want to add to your page, drag it, and drop it onto your canvas. First, let's try adding a video. our page, we have a video, and below it, some text. Now let's say we wanted to put the text to the left and the video to the right. Well that's easy, all we have to do is resize the modules. just like we see in our visual page editor. Now, I would rather have the video on the right and the paper text on the left. In order to do that, all we have to do is click and drag the modules and rearrange them. Through simply resizing your modules, you can create any number of element variations and column layouts. But what if you wanted to streamline the process a little bit more? You can do that by adding columns to your canvas. Let's try it. Click the Add a Column button and drag and drop one of the available column widths onto your canvas. In this case, let's add three. Inside those columns. Let's add three simple text boxes. Once the boxes have been added, click the settings link, paste in your text, choose a title and a color, and click save. And we'll do this for all three boxes. The first one I made blue, so we'll make the second one green. And we can make the third one red. Now looking at our builder, we should have three boxes, exactly one third width of each, one blue, one green, and one red, with some random text. So let's go back to our page, refresh, and see what we have. And there you go. Now that we've played with simple modules and columns, let's try adding something a little bit more advanced, such as an image slider. I'm going to drag the image slider module onto the canvas and adjust the settings. To add a new slide to your image slider, we simply click the Add Slider Image. And select an image from your media gallery. As you can see, the new slide has been added. Let's add another one.
Now I'd rather have this one first and this one second, so we can change the order by simply dragging and dropping. And click Save. Now I'd like the image slider to appear at the top of the page, so I'll drag and drop it to the top. And again, click Save. We'll refresh our page. And as you can see, within a few seconds we've created a beautiful image slider above our three boxes. Hopefully this video gives you a good idea how the new Builder works and all the great things that it makes possible. Of course, we've only gone over a few of the available modules, so be sure to look below for a full list of features.